Okay, so my next guest, he is a producer. He was an artist once upon a time. He's an exec at a label. Please welcome Kwan K.P. Prather. <laughs> Tell them, KP, who is KP? Oh man, KP is a boy who was raised in Vine City here in Atlanta. I, I was just always that kid who wanted to figure things out. I might have been five, six, trying to figure out who was Quincy Jones. And then somewhere around seventh, eighth grade, I heard this record, uh, Herbie Hancock record called Rocket. And it was that little noise in it. And I, I just wanted to understand what it was. And a friend of mine showed me the whole scratching thing. And then that Christmas, my mom got me these, he got me two turntables. And I started DJing. And that's literally how I started doing music. Speak to the highs and lows of your journey. Because mm. I know you've gone from the face and um, the Atlantic now. Yeah, I'm in Atlantic. So. Well, I can't tell you. I don't know a low yet. Mm -hmm. um, I've had. A lot, I've been blessed to have a lot of success with a lot of different things and even in like every success I've had I've always felt like okay now it's reset time it's time to start over because that happened already like right. I can't walk around like outcast <laughs> right. you know right. like like so like because there's a point where that's 10 years ago the successes have been about wanting to feel what success feels like again T.I. Yes. You were you were behind, you had something to do with that. A little bit to do with that. A lot of it. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. So, yeah. I remember when uh, you brought him to the face. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Um, talk about that in Ti now. Now. Ti now is is the tip that I met. Yeah. He's one of the most consistent, loyal friends. That I have. He's actually a really good person. Yeah, he's he a great quality. Yay. Person.